Are you planning on buying a new gimbal? Then the Moza R2, the Crane 3 Lab and the Ronin S must be on your list and of course we're gonna compare them. No more talking, let's go inside. Guys and welcome again, this is Alex with Chivo on the camera. In this video, we're gonna tell you the key points of each one of them, the compatibility is really important, and also some of our own experiences using them. Remember that there are gimbals, so showing you just footage, you know, stabilized footage won't do much of a difference, and we're gonna tell you real life experience of our own. And that's exactly the reason why we're doing this, just for you. Let's go inside. The first thing, and before getting into detail, is your budget. So we're gonna tell you the prices today of these three gimbals. Let's start with the DJI Ronin S. Right now you can find the Essentials version for 499 US dollars and the standard version for 749 US dollars. The Moza Air 2, you can find only the gimbal for 599 US dollars plus 299 US dollars for the full focus and the hand unit. The Zion Crane 3 Lab, even though it's pretty new, right now only the gimbal is 899 US dollars and 1199 US dollars with the bundle, including the full focus, the phone holder and the zoom control. And that's the one we are having here today. First, we're gonna talk about what makes each gimbal unique and special and all the good things. And let's start today with the DJI Ronin S. The most important thing about this gimbal is of course that you can unmount it and you can do this and this will save you a lot of space and it's actually the only one that can do this. The second thing is that is probably the easiest one to use right out of the box. It has a couple of buttons, two, three modes, a joystick and there's not a lot you can do wrong with this one. The third thing and also very important are the ergonomics and it's overall simple to use design. Ergonomically, it's also one of the best because it really does fit perfectly into your hand and it's really sensitive to your fingers and everything. Plus, the fourth thing are the accessories towards more cinematic purposes. You know, the master wheel, the control unit, and all. you can expand the Ronin S towards that more professional look. And last but not least, the official price right now on DJI website, the Essential Kit for 499 US dollars makes this gimbal officially the cheapest one. The one thing we don't really like about this one is the internal battery and that sometimes, you know, after a while using it, it may decrease its capacity and overall it's not as easy as the removable batteries to exchange. So that would be one thing. Let's talk a little bit about the second one, in this case the Moza Air 2 by Goodson. And the thing, and we really said this in the review, we really loved was this double plate here that the gimbal remembers the position in which you are calibrating your camera. So when you deattach it, you can put it back in and it will be calibrated right away. Another great thing about the Moza Air 2 is the possibility of buying lots of bundles and accessories that you'll find on their website. And not to forget that this one, the Moza R2, has the longest battery life with up to 16 hours. Don't forget that this one is also the lightest of all three gimbals and you know, to some people this may be really important. Plus, if you look a little bit on the internet, you may find this in some Chinese warehouse and that for 
around 400 bucks. Even though it is true that you can change the motor speeds by rotating a little bit of dial, the thing we did not like a lot in this case was that it is a little bit complicated to enter the different gimbal modes. You have to learn the manual and study a little bit, so this could be improved in the next Godson gimbal for sure. Let's talk finally what makes the Zion Crane 3 Lab unique and special and of course the first thing we have to mention is this new revolutionary design and the ergonomics overall and the use of course of both hands with the different settings and buttons and joystick. We've talked this and we've covered this in our review so make sure to check out the review. Apart from that the second thing we like a lot too is it's the easiest one to stabilize and to calibrate because of those red logs that it has it makes our life easier and this way we can you know calibrate it faster. Another great thing that we really like a lot is that the Zion Crane 3 Lab is the gimbal with the most compatible cameras and that's really a huge step forward and it is very important. We're going to talk about compatibility in a sec but it's the one that works with the most cameras. Apart from that the thing that we really like the most here is for example the gimbal modes the pen follow, the lock mode, there is one button for each single one of those modes and just by pressing them once you enter those modes and this really makes our life easy. And finally, it may sound a little bit stupid and it's just a detail but it really does also make your life easier. Look at this, all these cables are included in the box when you purchase it so you don't have to, you know, spend time looking for compatible cables and there's a chart online on the Zion website which will tell you which cable to use. They are numbered 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 even with letters A, B, C and you know instantly which cable to use. Oh and if you're wondering why we have a Canon 5D Mark IV here, well stay tuned because it's because of the compatibility and you'll see in a second how good this is. Talking about the cons, we just found one con. It is the gimbal that has the shortest battery lifetime. There are removable batteries, you can buy as many sets as you want, so you can actually solve that pretty easily. Now let's get to the second part of this video and you may ask yourself, is my camera compatible with the gimbals? Will I be able to change the ISO, the shutter speed or the aperture? Well, it depends and I have to say it's kind of complicated. First of all, we have to talk about the brand war. Whether the gimbal companies have signed deals with camera companies or not, and you are able to use them on the gimbals or not. And second, even though they have some of those deals, some cameras will be fully compatible, some others will allow you to do a few things and some others just won't allow you to do anything. The first thing will be that you check whether the camera, your camera, is compatible with the gimbal or not and for that we'll leave you links in the description with the compatibility charts and you'll see instantly that some brands, for example Zion, has made it simpler, clearer and easier. In this case it looks like the DJI Ronin S is the least compatible of all and you can really connect it to only a bunch of cameras and not only this one among the three gimbals this one only allows you to start recording stop recording zoom control and to follow focus and not even in all cameras when talking about the compatibility of the moza air 2 we have to say that good has done some really nice job and it is compatible with lots of cameras however a few surprises for example it is not compatible with any nikon camera However, as I'm saying, if your camera is compatible, you'll be able to change ISO, shadow speed and also the aperture. When talking about the compatibility, you know, Zion saw this as an opportunity and said, okay, let's do this and let's kill it with it. The Zion Crane 3 Lab has integrated buttons for changing very easily the shadow speed, the ISO, the aperture and also for recording and taking pictures. And as we mentioned before, all the cables are included in the standard box when you purchase it and it has the longest compatibility list for all cameras, brands such as Sony, Canon, Nikon and Panasonic. 
Summing up and right out of the box and talking about compatibility, the Zion Crane 3 Lab makes your life the easiest as well as you can change all the settings without even touching your camera anymore. All the buttons and everything is included in the gimbal. So plus the cables, it will make your life definitely the easiest. Now that we've covered pretty much everything and the most important details of all three gimbals, let's get to our final thoughts and to the simple question, which one should you buy? Well, if you're short on money and you just want something easy, fast and, you know, just go and right out of the box use it, definitely you should go for the DJI Ronin S. Otherwise, if you, you know, you don't care a lot too much about money and you want a little bit more professional, a little bit more detailed and with its revolutionary design, you'll go for the Zion Crane 3 Lab. And of course, once you test the Crane Lab, you'll go and you'll be addicted to it. Finally, if you want something in between, not too expensive, not too cheap, very good, stable and everything, the Moser Air 2 fits perfectly in between those two gimbals. Well guys, I really hope that you liked this video and over, oh, I'm falling. It is a little bit windy, we did not expect. You can see that it's sunny, bright sky, everything, the beautiful beach, but we were not able to fly our drone because of the wind. And for right now, I'm gonna say, excuse us if some of the clips, the audio is distorted or something, we did not calculate the wind in this video. Nothing really else to say. We really hope that you like this kind of video, you know, not showing only footage side to side because that is boring and I don't really learn a lot from that. We want to see the real experience of, in this case, us using the gimbals and we really hope that it was useful for you and your decision. If you have further questions, leave them in the comments. We always answer them, so make sure to get a shout out there. And nothing really else to say, leave the thumb please. Also for Chivo on his amazing work on the camera. Nothing really else to say, always remember to keep calm and talk to UAV.